Welcome back to FMLS's YouTube page. My name is Casey, and today we're going to be talking about the 120 computer user form. This is the form that you're going to use when you need to either add a new user, update a user, delete a user, or transfer that user to a new brokerage. So let's go to FMLS.com and take a look at that form. All right, once we've navigated to FMLS.com, we're going to want to go to FMLS forms on the top right of the page. Just hover over it and then slide your mouse down and click on form and PDF directory. This will bring you to the page where you can see all of our forms, but the most important one that we're looking for is going to be under the office management section, and we're gonna be looking for the computer user form. Simply click on the name, and then it's gonna pull up the PDF version of the form, which is the preferred method. So when looking at the form, it looks like there's a lot going on, but honestly, it's extremely straightforward, and we'll go one by one for each topic. So if you're looking to add a user, you're simply gonna select add user. You're going to ignore the FMLS login name since one obviously has not been applied yet. And then you're going to go down and select which access level they would like. To touch briefly on them, if it's an agent, uh, you have two options, one, both of which will give them access to reports. One of them will give the ability to add edit their personal listings and one will give, will deny them the ability to add edit their personal listing. So AG, has no ad edit, SA does have ad edit. Now, if they're an office staff or a broker, if you're looking for a, a higher level of permission for this individual, you will select one of these three, OM, BR, or CO. Uh, they're all going to have access to reports while the CO will have access across all of your branches if your company has multiple broker codes as in a 01, an 02, or an 03. Uh, all will have ad edit. Uh, or at least OM and BR will have ad edit uh, to all of the listings under that broker code. So if you have an office manager that needs to be able to go in and update the listings for your agents, you're gonna wanna put them in as an OM and they're gonna have access to everything under your broker code, even if it's not them as the listing agent. So once you've selected one of these options, you're going to go down and you're going to put in all the applicable information, first name, last name, uh, their phone, their email address, which is required, uh, their website, not everything is required. You don't necessarily have to have a website, but you do have to have an email, first, last name, and a license number. Now, if you're an office manager, obviously you're probably not going to have a license number. So what do you put here instead? You will put in S-T-A-F-F -F for staff. And then that way we know how to designate it. Then you'll go to the bottom of the page. You'll put in the broker code, your company name. You'll get the broker signature. You'll say who's submitting it, and you'll put in that contact number. Once you're done, you're going to email it to newuserforms at fmls.com. We highly suggest you use the email as opposed to the fax, uh, just because you know fax is an older technology and it doesn't really get used as much, and sometimes there's complications. The best way to guarantee that it gets to us and it gets done same day is newuserforms at fmls.com. Now, going back, if you have a user that needs something updated, such as their email address, the Say they got married and their last name has changed. Say they just w wanted to put in their website or you wanted to remove the ability for them to add edit. What you'll do is you'll select update user. At this point, you will put in their agent ID. Then you will select which access level. If they are staying at the same access level, simply just click on the access level that they currently have. If they're moving to another one, just simply click on the one that you want them to go to. And put the appropriate information in member information and company information, and then email it. Delete user, same deal. You're gonna put in their FMLS login name, you'll select what access level they currently have, and then just put in the appropriate information so we can ascertain who the individual is. Have it signed, email it to newuserforms at fmls.com. Now the last one, which is a little bit trickier, but again, still very straightforward, is going to be transfer user. This form is going to be submitted by the new brokerage. So if you were working for one brokerage and now you have moved over to a brand new brokerage, your new brokerage will want to submit this form and select transfer user. They will put in your login name from your previous brokerage. They'll select what access level they would like to grant you in your new brokerage. Of course, all of your applicable information, information, first name, agent phone, your license number, et cetera, et cetera. And down in the company information, they'll be putting the new broker code, the new company name, the new broker will need to sign it, and then just form submitted and contact number. And that should get the user transferred from the previous brokerage to the new brokerage. And again, once that's completed, just send it to newuserforms at fmls.com. 
Once you submit the computer user form number 120, you can usually expect the change to happen that same day. Sometimes if we get a little backed up, it takes one to two business days, so just keep an eye on that ID to see if the change happens. If it doesn't, simply just give us a call and we can figure out what the holdup is.